Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. My name is Ashley and I'm back with the next tool tutorial. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make laser engraved pencils using a jig. Now, before we go any further, I would like to note that although I am making laser engraved pencils with a jig, if you are looking to how to make a jig, this tutorial is going to be for you. It does not matter if you are trying to figure out how to make a jig for your coasters, flasks, keychains, you name it, the steps that I take today to make my jig for my pencils is exactly what you want to do with the item that you're trying to figure out. So this tutorial, just trying to figure out how to make the jig is gonna be for you. That being said, Valentine's Day is coming up and I love giving these pencils out for my kids on their like, you know, the class Valentine's. I love doing these laser engraved pencils. I actually add like a small little handmade little card and this right here, I love doing these. So the beauty of a jig is that I'm gonna be able to use it this year. I'm gonna create the jig in P2, and then I'm gonna cut it, use it this year, and then next year when I go to make the same Valentine, all I'm gonna to have to do is stick that jig back in there, set up what I'm gonna try and engrave, and then that's it. The hard part that we do today is gonna to be over from time and time again. So that's the beauty of having a jig. Before we get started, I wanna talk about this one important tool. Now you may think it's not important, I, I actually do. It will just help make the job easier. It is going to be some digital calipers. This was like $9 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description of this video. You are gonna need something like this. This right here is gonna tell you the size that we are gonna create our jig. So this is slightly important to me. However, if you don't have one of these, just grabbing yourself a measuring tape will help. It's not gonna be as accurate, but it will help. Getting one of these would be preferred. All right, let's get started. The very first thing you wanna do is go to your Xtool P2 and I have my slats put in place. The next thing you're gonna do is take a piece of wood. You could use cardboard for this, but please remember that if you use cardboard because it is bendable, it probably won't be reusable later. But doing like a piece of wood or acrylic would be best just so time and time again, you're gonna be able to use it. Okay, my piece of wood kind of bends a little bit, so I'm gonna use the clamp things that come with your X-Tool. Now, in order to make sure that this right here is gonna be reusable time and time again, you're never gonna to have to figure out where to place it, what I would suggest is taking your material and putting it at the very top left of your X tool. So we're gonna push this all the way up. You wanna make sure that it's nice and tight. So next year or in six months, whenever you want to re-engrave some pencils, all you have to do is put this back up in here, tight into the corner. You're never gonna have to remember exactly where you placed it because it's always going to be in the corner. Then you're gonna take your clamps and I am gonna clamp down my material. Okay, so my material is put in the base. So what I'm gonna do is turn on my machine and I'm gonna close the lid. Now let's go back to the computer. Okay, so this is the live look of what is in my machine right now. The very first thing you wanna do is come over here into insert and we're gonna insert a rectangle. You just want to draw a rectangle. Doesn't matter the size right now. Okay, taking your calipers. If you don't have calipers, using your measuring tape, what you want to do is we are going to turn this on. My X tool is set to inches, so I am going to turn this over from millimeters to inches just by the click of a button. Then what you're going to do is taking your one of your pencils or whatever blank that you're going to be using and you want to take a measurement. Okay, so I have the length of my pencil. You're not gonna be able to see it, but the number that I have down here is seven and a half inches. So what I'm gonna do is taking this rectangle, I'm gonna uncheck this right here. The width, which would be the length of our pencil is seven and a half. And I'm just gonna go 7.5 and press enter. Okay, the next measurement that you're going to take is the thickness of your pencil. The correct term of that, I have no idea. Took geometry twice in high school and did not pass it but we have the length, now we need to know how fat this pencil is. So I am going to take my calipers again, and we are gonna take another measurement. That measurement is 0.28 inches. So then what I'm gonna do is come up here into the height, and I'm gonna do 0.28 
inches and press enter. Okay, so it may not look like much, but this right here is this right here. So what I like to do when I'm creating a jig is fill up the entire jig with as many pencils as I can probably fit or as many coasters, whatever. So we're gonna copy and paste our rectangle and fill up our entire blank. Okay, so for my blank, I'm not gonna be able to get three rows going in lengthwise, but I am gonna have two rows going lengthwise and then up and down. So the very next thing you want to do is cut this. So we are gonna select everything. We can just come up here to combine and then unite, and then we're gonna set it to cut. Now, my particular piece of wood is something that was sent to me from Xtool. So I'm gonna go over here into material and I'm gonna do three millimeter basswood plywood. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here into aimed measure. Although the thickness is already on there, I always like to do an auto focus. So I'm just gonna put that anywhere on my blank. Okay, so now what we wanna do is making sure that everything's lined up. Do you see how when I uh, did the auto focus, now my pencil jig or the rectangles is getting cut off right here. So I'm gonna select everything and I'm just gonna move this over just a little bit so it doesn't get cut off. It's gonna be tight, but it's not gonna get cut off. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is selecting this, making sure that my settings are correct. We're gonna do cut and Xtool is telling me these are the settings that we need to use. So I'm gonna trust the Xtool and I'm gonna press process. And then we're gonna press start. Then we need to go over to the Xtool and just press that happy button. Okay, so now all you need to do is press the magic button and we are gonna let the X tool do the cuts. Okay, so now that all your little rectangles are cut out, I am just gonna take my weeding pick and I'm gonna pull out these little rectangles. Okay, now what you wanna do is insert your pencils and I am going to put these on the bottom. So just like this, and we're gonna put them inside the holes. If your measurements were done correctly, you're not gonna have any issues with the size of your holes because we did our measurements correct. Okay, I don't have enough pencils to fill up my entire jig, so I'm only gonna do one box, but you can see that I only have the pencils in one little area. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the lid and then we're gonna go back to the computer. Okay, so that jig took 12 minutes to cut out. However, remember, we're never gonna to have to recut that jig out, especially since I used wood, it's nice and sturdy. So I'm just gonna press okay. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we wanna refresh our bed and this is what our image is going to look like. Now that we've refreshed the bed image, you can tell that like over here, nothing is lining up and over here, nothing's lining up. And then also our pencils look like they're misaligned. The reason for that is because in your P2, you have a fish eye lens. And so it will distort how things look. This is the key reason why creating a jig is so important is now because we've not moved this, Every single thing we put inside that jig, no matter what, it will line up, guaranteed. As long as you put the jig in the spot that we have it every single time, we are gonna trust our lines and not the camera. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is take this little aiming tool and I'm gonna measure it over my pencil. Okay, and it still looks very messed up, that is okay. We are gonna rename this layer to pencil jig. At this point, you could save your work. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is I'm just gonna scroll up a little bit and I'm gonna insert a text box. And I'm gonna bring this text box up here and let's just do, you are smart. Okay, I want to change this to a different layer. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna move it to a red layer. Okay, now what you wanna do is just choose your font I'm gonna use one of Xtool's fonts and it is called Lifesavers. Okay, now what you're gonna do is make this real small and we are gonna drag this into our box and let's zoom in. Okay, we want this box in this middle of our jig or that rectangle. Now at this point, if you want to keep this as a score, you can, or you can do an engrave. I'm gonna keep this as a score. It'll make things a lot faster if you choose an ex a score. The difference between a score and engrave is going to be the look. 
The original pencils that I did, I used the engrave feature and it's very deep in, in there. However, it took a long time. So instead, I'm just gonna use the score. So we're gonna have one. I'm gonna copy and paste. And we're gonna take another one, put it in there. At this point, you could change the wording if you wanted to. And then once you're done, you can copy and paste. And we're gonna drag it in. So you're gonna fill up all of your pencils. Okay, now that we have that done, I'm just gonna click that and fit it to the screen. It's going to look very weird, right? What I wanna do is click this pencil jig and I want to set to ignore. And now I'm just gonna hide this, I don't need it. Okay, so what we want is to engrave this. Now it does look like on our screen that this You Are Awesome down here is going to get cut off. However, when we look at our pencil jig, it is in between that rectangle. You have to trust the rectangles that are on the screen. Okay, so I am just going to click on layer two and it's gonna highlight all the layers. And I'm gonna just increase the power a little bit for this engraving. And then all you need to do is press process. We're gonna press start. And now let's go over to the X tool and press that magic button. All right, so our pencils are done and you can see that, remember, I'm gonna show you the very last one because that's the most important one. Remember how it looked like it was gonna get cut off? It absolutely was not cut off at all. And for all of these right here, they're perfectly lined up and looking fabulous. So trusting the jig that we created will give you wonderful works of art every single time. Now the beauty of this, like I said, is that if you were done engraving pencils for right now and you took this out and set it aside, as long as you remember to put this in the top left corner of your machine, you're gonna be able to reuse this jig every single time. You're never gonna to have to recreate this jig again. All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create and I'll see you later.